uh, personal, even though I, I don't mind uh, these issues to be debated and I hope they are public, publicly accountable. And of course they can also be falsified once you approach a different, you know, approach it differently. In terms of role ethics, uh, the argument is very persuasive. We didn't get uh, into it. And you know that uh, role is necessarily sociological. It's, uh, it involves at least, uh, at least two persons. So all five basic five relationships, and of course extending these five relationships to any other relationship, including the relationship between a person and a stranger, uh, each, each one of them is uh, unique and each one of them contributes to your self-understanding. First of all, you say, uh, as I pointed out, because of the uh, structural, structural constraints, each person is unique. And the uniqueness of that person doesn't mean it's so situated, it's so concrete, that uh, it doesn't have meaning for anyone else. Uh, the assumption in the Analex is that Confucius responded to all the questions according to not only the personalities of the students, but also to the uh, particular circumstances. So each one of them is unique. But each one of them is significant to others, not only because of its uniqueness, but also because of its applicability in other circumstances. So you learn from something which is concrete, which is specific, and then and, and yet that concreteness and specificity has a broader significance, even universal significance. For example, the response to one of the students about uh, uh, humanity or reciprocity. The idea is to not do to others what you would not want others to do to you. And normally it's a response to a specific student's question. And that notion itself is generalizable. In fact, it becomes the golden rule. And you say you should uh, care for other people, you should love other people. And again, it's a specific idea about that particular person who may be very legalistic, very ritualistic. So to ask the students also to respond to the outside world with a, with a feeling of care is a specific response to that student in that moment, and yet certainly it has, um, we call it generalizability. We worry about identity. I think each one of us wants to have some form of self-understanding. Self After all, the main purpose of philosophy is uh, know thyself. This self-knowledge, self-knowing, normally is understood in terms of some imaginative and reflective process. So there's no reason to argue that self-realization or self-understanding is necessarily linked to sociality, um, theoretically speaking. Now when Confucius said learning is for the sake of the self, and that learning is not internal, it's not individualistic, and yet takes the center of uh, our relationships seriously. So the assumption is that there must be something in us that is not uh, totally shaped by the external world. Now, one thing, of course, is our ability to have commiseration. You, you suddenly confronted uh, with uh, a tragic moment, and you respond to that In both in terms of your sensitivity, in terms of your commiseration, and the assumption is that is internal. Uh, that is not simply conditioned by forces from the outside, especially when the idea is suddenly you're confronted with it. Before you begin to think about the social consequences of that response, already it happens. So that's something uh, internal. But the argument of the uh, role ethics is that you a specific relationship, a father-son-sibling relationship, 
relationship to friend, to colleague, to uh, even enemy. All these relationships are very specific. You cannot imagine yourself in terms of interaction with the outside world without understanding that relationship in terms of the specific, you know, specific role you. And I think the word to play a role normally we use the term is not right. It's to learn to become a role. You become a son. You become a father. You try to become a friend, and that process of becoming is to learn the particular role you occupy. It's your niche uh, in society. So role ethics argues very forcefully that uh, you need to find your niche. You don't worry about your identity, especially if the identity is internal. Uh, an example is uh, you, you played in the music. Let's say you played love, not solo, you played in the quartet. The important thing is for you to listen to the other three people. If you become obsessed with your own play, then the uh, communal participation fails. So each and every one is a good listener, listening to the others. So you define yourself because you are in counter, you are in encountering with a variety of uh, relationships. As you grow, the relationships become more and more.